it's another war story. When you hear of wars, you picture humanity falling and rising, running away from disaster. After the war comes sober reflection. There are stories of the Nigerian Civil War. The stories are heartbreaking, but sometimes they are lifting. Lifting in the sense that, are we ready to learn lessons from the war? One aspect of the war that raises a lot of questions is the Asaba massacre. When Nigerian troops captured Asaba, what happened? We have seen the battle of Ore. So I want us to move faster. Okay. So from Ore, what was the next point? Uh, the next point was for for some brigade was Eho. Eho. Now, uh, Eho is a, uh, let me say, Eho was a village at that time. Eho is in, uh, in Edo State. In Edo. Okay. Very close to uh, Ubanke. Yes. Now, Eho. Very a very small town. Then we got to that place, and the bridge leading to that town from the south was broken. You know, we are going this way up to Ubanke. And you are talking about the old road, right? The old road, no new road good. at that time. No new road. Right? So that bridge was broken. I was one of the soldiers that climbed rope, rope and crossed to our town. Now we are about uh, 30 or 40. The Sir Major, I was a corporal, the one I was given at Okitupa. And the Sir Major led us. You know, there were no commissioned officers now. Mm. Officers were not many. Mm? So we got to the end of that town. And for us to decide, we saw Biafra come. There we started fighting. We never knew that they purposely abandoned that, that town. So to entrap and envelope you. So that they could envelope us. When you see them in front like this, before you know it, they'll be trying to enter through the through left or right. Did you see Biafrans as enemies while you were fighting the war? What will, what will you call them? Mm. They were killing you and you were killing them. So Are you friends? Okay. So at this point... No, there's no, no, there's no friendship now. A friend doesn't kill a friend now. If war. I hold, it's, no, you, you, you blame the war. It's, it's the war. Mm. If there is war between uh, uh, two, two, two children, now war. War is war. War is war. By the time we got to that place, we were we fought, fought, fought. For good four days, the fifth day, they've already repaired the road and we moved. We got to Ubanke. By the time we got to Ubanke, they were telling we saw corpses that uh, that was uh, headquarters of uh, uh, Biafra Brigade. So they, they, somebody told us that uh, it got to a point when they would ask their commander would ask them to go on, to go to Eho that Biafra will refuse, they started shooting themselves. Now we move. By the time we got to Agbo Junction, 8 Brigade has already captured Agbo. When we were going, mm. the commander was telling us that he's supposed to have captured Agbo. But because of that delay In at the hall, they couldn't. So we got to Agbo Junction, and now they asked us to move. We immediately rounded up Umunede. No, Umunede is very close to Agbo. We rounded the Umunede and we started going. Where it is possible for you to enter motor, you enter motor. Mm. If you enter motor and there are, there are pockets of enemy, you have Biafra shooting. 
you know, shooting is different from the other shooting. When Biafra fired, you will know. When uh, your own troops fire, you will know. How do you know? What's the difference? The sound of that rifle. We, who they, who, they, who they had the using, best guns? No, it's uh, Nigeria now. Nigeria had the best weapons. The, the, the best weapon. Because we don't, we, we were not using Chinese weapons. Okay. We were using English made weapons. Mm. While Biafra were using Chinese weapons. So when the sound, when they, 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 they heard the sound, it's quite different. So, like I was saying, we moved. Now we got to St. Patrick around 6 30 in the evening. So it rained, we had to paint down. So the next. And that month, was in October? October 4, 1967. 1967. Now, October 5, as early as 7 o'clock, we started the operation. As we were going between Asaba and uh, St. Patrick, the commander, Godwin Ali, was fired and was immediately taken back. And it was Ibrahim Taiwo, who was his twice. He was the one that led us into Asaba proper. So when you got to Asaba, what did you see? We got to Asaba, we captured Asaba, and we have already, they have already divided Asaba among the three battalions, 71, 10, and 71 was B to take Ibuzo Road, where I, I belong. Mm. Then 10 battalion was mandated to take uh, Kebu Point, Umuaji, that's, that was Asaba Center. Why 1, 2, 3 was well, mandated to take eastern part, call it Onono Action, Onono Axis. So were there resistances to the Nigerian military when it entered Asaba? Were there Biafran troops in Asaba? No, let, let me tell you that one. Let me tell you something. You know that bridge was not broken when we entered? The River Niger Bridge? Yes, it oh. was not broken. Now, Biafra thought we will sail through right from Asaba to Onita. On the, on the mid, mid, midway, they will have broken that uh, bridge. But luckily, we did not go. Between 10, 11, 12, we have already secured Asaba. How were you in able to secure Asaba? What happened in Asaba? Tell me the exploit of the military in Asaba. There was a massacre in Asaba. Uh, you call it massacre, but I wouldn't see it as a massacre. Because in a war, everybody will count for his own losses. You see, now, me, wait, wait. Me Jajai. Yes, let me tell you, yes. in my presence, mm. 8 October, eh, what you call massacre happened. But let me tell you something. Now, do you know the operatives of Biafra? They are all from Asaba area. Kone Nwawo, Kone Okusheme. Zogu. Zogu himself from Apanam. Apanam. Very close to Asaba. Very close to Asaba. The most, the, the, the most talented Biafra officer in the army, in the Biafra army, the most talented, Kone Asusi, was from Asaba. So that made Asaba special. Asaba was very special to, to, to them. Because all of them, even for school, most of them are from Asaba area. No. Not even Igbo. So, they are from Ekai, Ekai Igbo. Could that be the reason? That's, now, no, no, just let me learn. All right. Now, Asaba has become a great blow to them. Now, we enter fifth in the morning. Sixth. Come and see corpses of our soldiers on the ground. On the six. On the street. How? Come, uh, How hey, did that happen? Uh, uh, they were killing them now. They, we, 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 we know that at that time, point in time, we are no barracks. We were on the tarmac, on the road. 71 battalion was on the road to Ibuzo. Uh, 10, 10 battalion was on the road to Cable Point. Then the other people too, we were, we were no barracks. We were so uh, uh, open to these people. It's their terrain, it's their area. So by night, they would just come and kill, kill, kill. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. 
kill with now, what? With guns? It's with guns now. They know them. And uh, the other people too were signaling them. They are here. The people this of Asaba. Is, yes. This we're is giving where, them information. This is where they are. This is where they wanted to flush these people out. Army is not stupid. Army will not do something without reason. Let me tell you. If that action was not taken, no seven brigade soldier will have remained in Asaba after after two weeks. The, if that action, which action, the massacre? You call it massacre. Now this was what happened. You call it massacre. The military lined up men, boys and slaughtered them why, 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 at Ogbonsowa village. Why did the military have to line up men, innocent men and boys? Or they were not innocent? How, how innocent are they? Remember, they were singing the praises of the Nigerian troop. Many of them were dressed in white attire. Yeah. They paid loyalty to the Nigerian flag. How come the military, despite if, that, if, lined if, them if, up and slaughtered them? If you, uh, well, if you say that is what they, to me, um, though my battalion was not responsible for, I was in 71 battalion. Yes. It was 10 battalion, cable point. So, but then, I mean, will not do something with that reason. There was reason for that. The other time you said, go one came there and apologized. He apologized. He wasn't in the fault. Now, if somebody is trying to kill you and you are able to kill it, you know, there is no, you call that massacre. What do you call, wait. What? More than 700 people were killed in El wait, 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 let me tell you, mm. let me tell you. Now, 2000, when uh, uh, Ibenusa came, Major Ibenusa, he came with 3rd Battalion. I was mandated to take my two platoons. I was a sergeant. The day we entered as October 5, I was given sergeant, field, field, field. I was mandated by my CEO to take two platoons to Bridget and secure Bridget for Major, for Major Ibinusa to cross to Onicha with more than 2,000 men. Before we, before we go to the crossing, yes. I want us to exhaust the massacre. Look at this. In the point, one Dr. Cyril Uche Naguam, an eyewitness to the massacre, said, the Nigerian troops that came into Asaba came with the aim of eliminating every Asaba man. As they thought they were fathers, brothers, and uncles of Chukuman Zogu. Remember Zogu was responsible for what happened in Kaduna during the coup, Ahmad what, Bello. What, what, what was it? Kaduna and Zogu led the coup in the north. It wasn't, it, uh, my Zegu, um, Kaduna and Zegu wasn't the leader of that coup. But he led it in the north? He led it, uh, yes, because he knew anything, everything about uh, uh, Sadawna. It was so, an yes. inner rambler to him. So when the Nigerian military came into Asaba, it was payback time. Uh, no. Zogu people must be dealt no. with. No, 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 that, that was very, very wrong. I don't believe so. I do not, uh, but I married from Asaba now. My, my son is a lawyer, he's in Asaba. Now, now, well, I don't believe that. Remember, what? You've, you've also said some of the good Biafran fighters and they soldiers are from Asaba. Asaba. Hey, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean, it doesn't. It can also be interpreted because some of the best uh, fighters no. are from here. Let's deal uh, with their no, people. No, I don't, I don't believe that. As for me, I don't. Anything that happened in Asaba from Fort to, uh, to the end of uh, that, you know, in 68, Asaba become, uh, you, you will go to Asaba and look uh, whether this is where they say they've ever killed anybody. No, I don't believe that. Major Jai, children were killed. Children were killed. Now, Old men were killed. No, no, no. Do, do, you, know, do, you, know, do you know what happened? Mm. That, uh, that uh, the way they were killing our soldiers, nobody, nobody, nobody invited children to that. They invited some elderly, some highly place, and they didn't know that that was. But I didn't see children there. But that deception by inviting the men out 
inviting them, you then killed them. That deception. That's, that's irony of war. Mm. Everybody must account for his own goods, his own losses. What, what we, we won't blame the operatives of uh, that, but let's blame the war. Let's blame the war. The war. Let's blame the war. It's war. War is war. War is bad. Now, in Asaba, you are talking about eh? Nigeria army, army's loss. Triple that of, uh, that of uh, Asaba, you are talking about. Triple that in of my, the massacre. In, tri in my presence. But why were the army so weak as to allow itself to be killed in the way you have just described? Now, which one? That might, you allowed yourself to be killed by Biafran troops in Asaba. You, you know, you know, uh, nobody is uh, Mr. No All. Mm. Now, I brought you here now. Hmm? You've never known this place before. I asked you to sleep here. You will be thinking that it's only this, this, uh, this road that leads to your house. Hmm? I asked you to sleep here. I can go from here, go left, right. Everywhere is a road. You won't know. That's exactly what happened. Now, these people, these people, not that uh, they were not singing, they were singing, they were. That singing too was a deceit. When you sing in the morning, in the evening, you now tell them, look at them here. Oh. They are here. Oh. Let's kill them. Oh. Let. What, what sort of singing is that? So it was that anger. No, I've, I'm too junior to have known whether that was the anger. Ibrahim Taiwo supervised the massacre. Because the commander wasn't around. Commander was still in the hospital. God Ali was the commander. He did not enter Asaba with us. He was shot at between St. Patrick and Asaba. So it was Ibrahim Taiwo that led us into Asaba proper. And during that massacre too, it was, a, it was an order. That issue, I mean, who, who else? It was the two I see. But if you sing today, you sing, people are seeing you singing. At night, you go and say, Look at them here. Look. No, anything can happen. It's war. Don't blame anybody. Blame the war. It's the war. It's about the war. Yes. He says, Don't blame anybody. Blame the war. Major Emmanuel Ajayi retired. He's saying war is not good. But war is war. And as Saba people saw war. Ha! Huh?